Hello everyone, welcome again. And today uh, we'll see one error in the MySQL workbench that is no data was selected. So uh, while you are directly trying to import the data into MySQL workbench, you will see this error. So let's suppose I'm trying to uh, import one data. For so that, I just need to go to into the server section. Then I have to select the data import. I select the self content file option i browse my file let's suppose i want to uh, upload uh, i want to export this database this is cape booking database and i just click on the start import uh, option that is come under the import progress import process so now you will see one uh, error here no database selected okay so how can we solve this error and why this error is coming this is error, this error is coming because uh, while you importing the data it doesn't select any database and the data will not come here. The database will not come here because the database is not available into the database. Uh, it's this in some file, in some SQL file, there might be a code to create database automatically, but there might be a, a version conflict. That's why it's not creating a database. So how can you solve this error manually? Do one thing, just open your uh, database file into any ID, any and like any ID, or you can say the not paid or somewhere. Edit it and just check the database name or just find the database name under from your project section, uh, configuration file. Uh, and in this case, uh, this is the database name, which is a Cobic Cape Booking Date DB. I just quickly cancel it and uh, go here and create a new database from here so i just select this option create a new database enter the name click on apply click apply finish and when i refresh it i can see the database is available but it's empty database but still if i uh, in the import section if i see this data is not available this database is not available so what you have to do just uh, close this window and i just close all the window Again, go to the server, go to data import, and this time it will see that data will be database will be available there. So again, uh, let's import it again. So I just copy the path and go here and enter the self-contained file. I select the browser file and select the cap booking. And from the import progress, I just select the start import. But this time it successfully finished without any error. And when I refresh that schema section, I can see the tables are there. It means the database is imported. So these are the steps that you need to follow uh, to solve this error. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, just uh, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you will get the notification for the next video. We'll uploading continue the mix up video in this channel. We are providing the solutions of some kind of errors, some development into the Java, some existing project. So you will get lots of content.